Here's a look at our tower cam time lapse. Valley News Live Storm Team Skycam Network shot in Fargo, starting off into the upper 60s today. And uh, we saw plenty of sunshine through the morning and a few more clouds uh, as we make our way into early afternoon. But temperatures really getting up there with that sunshine and that breezy westerly wind at 87 degrees right now in Fargo. Wind about 15 to 25 miles per hour from the west or southwest. Moorhead at 88 degrees and Grand Forks at 86 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Uh, taking a look at temperatures around the region, we're still pretty warm out toward Cooperstown, Carrington at 86, 82 at Jamestown, 84 at Valley City, 84 at Fergus Falls, and we're seeing an 84 right now at Park Rapids. Into the upper 70s across most of northwestern Minnesota, but into the northern valley out toward the Devil's Lake Basin, we're still seeing low to mid 80s even through the noon hour. The breeziest winds into our western counties, we're seeing wind speeds 15 to 30 miles per hour westerly direction is a drier wind, but it is a warm wind. The dew point uh, a little lower than yesterday. We're seeing dew point values 50 to 60 in most areas, which is dry and we're a little muggy right now into the lower 60s into portions of northwestern Minnesota. So uh, taking a look at the satellite loop, we are seeing uh, mostly clear skies as you look across the region as of right now. Uh, just a few passing clouds, especially into the valley points off to the west and that is it for the moisture we have uh, this high pressure system working its way in there's that low that gave us the showers and storms yesterday and the westerly wind that is warming us up and drying us out as this high starts to move off to the east as we go through the weekend we are going to see uh, more of a southerly flow and a couple of fronts will get in here as we round out the weekend and start next week and give us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Here's the hour by hour forecast. Temperatures rising into the low to mid 90s in most places as we go through the afternoon. We got mostly uh, clear skies, maybe an isolated storm, uh, especially up toward the uh, Canadian border. And that's it for the moisture, mainly dry overnight period. Uh, we'll, we'll be a little cooler into the upper 50s and lower 60s and more warm air for Saturday. We'll have a little bit of a northwesterly wind that will cool us down just a little. We'll see highs uh, 85 to 90 for your Saturday. Then the long range, we're going to start to track some, uh, some disturbances making their way in. For Sunday, we have a chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, most of us staying dry, and we'll keep a chance of some isolated showers and storms for a Monday with a better chance of some showers and storms as we go through the day on Tuesday and Wednesday. So not everybody is going to get wet as we go through the weekend, but there is a chance of some storms. And a severe weather risk, just a marginal severe weather risk from Devil's Lake down toward Aberdeen. This is for the day on Sunday. Best chance of severe weather, a storm or two might contain large hail damaging winds as we go through the afternoon. A general thunderstorm risk for uh, everybody else. Temperatures into the low to mid 90s for the day today. We got mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and taking a look ahead to the Memorial Day weekend. 90 on Saturday, mostly sunny and hot. An isolated shower storm on Sunday, 92 and 87 on Monday. A chance of some showers and storms. Better chance of some showers and storms Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures into the upper 80s on Tuesday, lower 80s on Wednesday, and we finally dry out and cool down on Thursday with mostly sunny skies and a high of 79. We broke a record yesterday. We